to see if there are any kind of... No, we never did this way. No, I think this is where we came from. Yeah. Yeah, see. we came from there, but we never went this way. Did we? No, I don't think so. Huh. Okay. Oh, we're on the other side of the warm padlock, are we? I think we are. Okay, let's sit here for a minute and get our bearings straight. Okay. Good night, whoever you are, I suppose. Um, is that me? I think so. Watch him just pop out of here. Hello. Oh, it's an enemy. Okay, no, yeah, we haven't been this way. I don't trust it though. Fourth of August, eighteen thirty-nine. Progress the towards the end. Woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. My soul. We have a weapon, Greg. A rusty butter knife. Let's see help. Now it's a hot rusty butter knife. We'll cut it out. I'm glad I closed the door, but we don't really have anywhere to hide. Save for behind this pig, possibly. Yeah, let's hide back here. Okay, yeah, there's some kind of corrosive material there. Did it just open the door? Or is it banging on it? I think it's banging on it. It just, broke it just the door. opened it. Come on, don't see, just opened it. don't see us. Don't see us. Don't see us. You're so screwed. If I am, then it's 30 minutes now. I can call it a night after this, and we know where we need to go at least. But I hid behind a pig. Hopefully, it doesn't see me. You know, this whole time we've been playing, we haven't yet once confronted these things. There's no confrontation. There's I know, I mean just running. I like remember James and then when they were playing they just were like, No, it was well, up there, let's run. And they're just like started bolting it. Yeah, I don't like that wood. It gives them more show up. No, I think it's one single one. No, there's more multiple. Because they outran one and then, then there was another in front of them. Yeah. Huh. Hiding behind the pig worked, apparently. Alternatively, we could have blocked the door, possibly. Yeah. Why? I think so. Can I take a risk? Yeah, some healing stuff. Anyway, now that I have some time, I'm gonna look around the room for 
jump. It doesn't seem like there's anything over there. Okay, and now we... Okay, now I know where we need to go. And that thing's probably going to chase us again. But I know what needs to be done. Nah. It's probably just oil and junk. Okay. And once I either get to that door or open it or die, I suppose we'll call it a night. We're at our normal time. No thanks to Greg. What's our sanity at anyway? Oh, actually not low. Okay, so we take a left here. And then... Oh, what down there is this one? I actually think I might have gotten turned around, but I believe we'd go left here. I believe it was that long hallway. No. Might have been through here. It was a long hallway with ones that we couldn't light. Uh, if I'm turned around. Oh, no, that wasn't it. Crap, I'm turned around. Um, freaking. Uh, maze area. Okay. Was this it? So area three. Oh no! Did we just go back? Yeah, we just went back in a circle. Crap. Okay. Um. Let's see. It was not storage. Storage was that way. Okay. So we take a left. And then where do we go from there? No idea. Let me try going. No, this was just a dead end. Poor person works. The shadow. It's close now. I don't like that. Here we are. Yeah, this is where we need to go. Just make a run for it. Wait, do I need to throw the acid on this? Or was... No. Yeah, oh crap, we're on the other. It was no, it was the one with the weak padlock that we needed to go to. Where was that? I don't know. That was... Um, which way was that? No idea. We're starting to run low on oil. We'll be a little more conservative. Anyway, it was a cell door. But I can't remember which way it was. Yeah. Maybe. No, not that one. Crap, all I need to do is find that one little cell door. And I don't remember which way it was. In this episode, Corey's memory, terrible memory, comes back to bite him. Okay, that's where we came from, from the kitchen. Okay, it wasn't the storage. Okay, so we go left. I remember storage, all that led to was the excellent condition padlock, and we need to get the weak condition one, because that was the one that we got the nail of. So. Was it? No. Okay. 
so logically we move this way. Um, Is it this way? Yes. I believe this was it. Yep. Okay. Oh, now I can just lay there. Oh crap, oh crap, crap, crap. Get it in there, get in there, Dan. Go, 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 go! Whew! We made it, Greg. Unless it chases us through the door. Which I don't think it can. Okay, no it can't. So you use the drain sewers as a means of transport. Ooh. Yes. Progress, it's Greg. To divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Oh, you hear that, Greg? We're almost there. Yeah. I hope, at least. This is our sixth stream, I believe. Okay, well, we've made it to about 40 minutes, so I believe that's good for a night. That's our general thing, 30 or 40 minutes. Um, Greg was out, that was fun. Um, and anyway, yeah, next time I will actually have a better computer, so it'll look smoother, hopefully. And yeah, uh, thanks for joining us. You're not going to say goodbye, Greg. Okay, we'll get over the shame eventually. Okay, anyway, well, I guess that's good night, everyone. Um, thanks for joining us.